Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because, um, as you probably know, I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class, which is the beginner tarot class, which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can, uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the twelve hours of content lectures, which are including. Uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class, you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all. You also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, not, it's not free. It is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign so that is going to be a capricorn sun capricorn moon and as well capricorn rising a uh, weekly, uh, not, not, it's, not, it's not going to be weekly, I'm sorry guys, it's going to be a monthly tarot reading for the month of July and it does, and it will refer to Capricorn, Sun, Moon and as well Rising. So uh, let me shuffle the cards and while I'm do shuffling the cards, I, I will tell you how the reading is going to go forward. So pretty much I'm going to use my favorite uh, tarot spread, which is a four card tarot spread and as well in our video, I will try to do, or I will, I'm not going to try, I'm going to simply do it. I will do something that I haven't done in video, I think, beforehand. And uh, that is going to be to determine the time frame in which the things that you Capricorn initiate throughout the month of July, or you kind of like establish throughout the month of July, how long it's going to take for them to unfold. Um, <clears throat> So with that being said, let's have a look what kind of a uh, what kind of a cards you do get here. Uh, now the first one for you is going to be the magician. That is a fantastic start for you guys. Moving next, that is to be the ten of pentacles, followed by uh, the three of swords, and the last one that we do have that is going to be the ace of pentacles. So let's have a look how long is gonna is gonna take for you. And uh, the time frame is pretty much around the start of a January next year. So you do have a half of a year here to manifest the things that you are to start from, from oh my God, throughout the month of July. And oh my God, you're gonna have a many things to choose from here for what it seems. I, I look at it, those cards, I could say that every single one of them can turn into an, an awesome opportunity to further your 
prime primal goal, if you will. Another primal goal, I mean a, a goal that's uh, it's meant to make you lucrative, successful, or it's a meant to uh, make you happy. So with uh, with the things you initiate throughout the months of July, you can definitely establish a successful business, for example, or make the successful business maneuvers you do want to, or establish a harmoniously flowing a relationship moving a relationships moving forward. However, the month of July is going to be a month demanding quite of a big responsibility that you need to undertake here because we do have the magician at the first position. Yeah, that, that card kind of refers to the personal sovereignty that people does have or in other words, you got to stand behind your actions and behind your words as well. Now, that is something that I'm going to tell to uh, a very good friend of mine because that friend of mine has the tendency to forget what she said couple of days ago okay so you gotta stand especially behind your words uh, you can't simply throw away things and then pretend that, that they never happened or uh, you throw away things and say well I say I, I said those things because I was anxious or because I was nervous or because you know uh, I was in a bad place that that car you can't play that car throughout the months of July for what it seems here with those cards because uh, as we do have the ten of Pentacles into the the second position, uh, you are going to be pretty much bound to the things you invest in any way possible, meaning that you're going to be bound with your investments in terms of career, in terms of time, uh, in terms of money, in terms of a verbal communication, in terms of emotions as well, and so on and so forth. Uh, and you can't simply walk away from them or rather like uh, without any consequences. That is, you can't simply back your way from it. However, that is in a very, you know, negative side, if you will. And that is the worst possible thing that can happen here. And now what uh, is worth talking about, it is what is going to give you the motion or rather like what is going to be your vehicle of a progress. And we can see here the tree of swords, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, a wafting itself into the third position. And when we do have that card into the third position, especially as the magician sits into the first one, the uh, the driving motor of your uh, future progress, and that is going to be a hell of a progress, you know, as long as you do know how to play your game uh, and everything that you should do in order to play your game correctly is not to rush the things around okay so once again remember you are going to be entitled to everything you do you say and, and even to everything that you do think at that particular moment so the driving uh, motion uh, of your future progress is going to be the uh, Oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Well, when you think of things in the past, okay, uh, things that could have worked, but they didn't, uh, either because you have been handicapped, either because you have been betrayed, you know, uh, mainly things that you did everything you could, but you have been uh, robbed from those things. Uh, you are going to become a, a, a cauldron of rage okay, from within. And that is exactly what is going to be the main driving force of yours. The, uh, the resignation of experiencing that poignant feelings, if you will, or having that extremely negative uh, experience uh, once again. So you, you are to be determined to do the most out of yourself in one way or another and uh, that will help you to boost your once again a personal sovereignty so that being said just uh, you are not going to be prone to do things just so you do look like a, a in a good light in front of somebody I, in fact yeah, you you couldn't care less what people would think of you uh, in terms of career or in terms of relationship for the reason being is that you are going to be a very convinced and as well um, how can I say it? Um, I guess the word should be aware of what your capabilities are and how how far you can go in general. Now, uh, one advice I can give you looking at those cards, it is that uh, you should truly, when, whenever you try to convey something as an information or whatever you 
try to do something in general, especially career-wise, you should support it always with a strong determination that goes with the magician. I mean, always. Meaning that uh, whenever you uh, jump into project, you need to do it in a such a way that to show to the, your co-workers, if you will, that that project means almost everything to you and that you are truly devoted and uh, entitled uh, as well uh, toward the project, if you will. Now, why the month, however, is very strong for you? It is because the month, whatever you do create throughout the month for yourself, for your family, for your career is going to be indestructible, meaning that only you are going to have the power to uh, to pretty much, you know, bring it down or, or destroy it, if you will, no exterior influences. Meaning that if you do create a relationship throughout the month, only you are going to be the one who would say enough is enough, okay? You start a job, only that means that you are going to lose the job only if you do quit, oh my God, if you do quit of, uh, of the job itself. So, <clears throat> Another thing, as we said about relationships here, looking at those cards, it is that should you be able to establish a relationship throughout the months of uh, throughout the months of July, then the relationship is going to be established on a mutual understanding, meaning that you and the person that you are establishing relationship with are going to be with one another for the uh, for 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 what you are uh, as a. Uh, genuine person rather than with the presumption that that person is going to change further into the future. So that being said that you can expect that, that your future partner will establish, will exert no control over you whatsoever and the same thing is going to be expected from you as well. Another uh, advice that is more like in an advice than anything else, it is that there is nothing that you cannot actually um, talk over throughout the month so if you are after certain things if you are after a certain um, say promotions jobs you can negotiate the hell out of your way through uh, toward it uh, i suggest you to start raising your voice about the things that you do want because in that and especially in that specific case here as the dependency and the tides are so related to the uh, reading of the month if you don't ask about it uh, the answer always is going to be no, okay? So even if you do deserve it, if you do not ask about it, probably it's not going to be given to you and that will be one thing to throw into the quadrant of rage that you are going to be throughout the months of uh, throughout the months of July. So where that thing goes to, I mean, what is going to be the bottom line of it? So we do have the Ace of Pentacles and that card points that while the month itself it could be a, a little bit chaotic you know you may find yourself at certain stages that you don't know what to do you know you do have all that aggression you do have as well all that ambition but what to do with it uh, that may be a bit of a problem for you to uh, to give an answer to because you know the awareness that whatever you do you are going to be entitled to it it could puts a bit of a breaks on you, okay? But by the, uh, by the end of the month, things are going to normalize here with the Ace of Pentacles and you will become, uh, or like your vision will become more and more narrow to a point where it will focus only on one or two things that will really worth your time. Uh, and these things are going to be rather a long-term uh, uh, things or endeavors enterprises with a long-term progression so by the end of the month you can expect it to have at least one if not couple of uh, of a goals that you are going to pretty much look forward to and they are going to be quite uh, pretty reachable achievements as well and uh, the, the the road toward reaching those achievements is not going to be stressful at all it is just the initial you know, the initial establishment, it is what is going to be stressful for you. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your monthly tarot reading, July 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.